Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie from Sanu Motor. Today I have a DS3 2013 model. Engine management light on. I'm going to show you how to diagnostic, find out the problem, solve the problem. Stay with me. Thank you. I'm going to start the car. You can see as it is uh, engine malfunction light on and uh, airbag light on this is for the seat belt it's not a problem and uh, ESP light on vehicle little bit shaking I feel in something not right like a uh, injector fuel system I'm not sure until I'll uh, take a code from the computer and here also say engine faulty OBD connector located here underneath this behind the flap this is the OBD connector I am going to take a computer report yes they talk about the P0268 injector number 3 short circuit I am going to the engine bay this is the latch and you see the engine little bit vibration Japanese car or the like a Vauxhall or something it's in, injector starting from uh, handbrake side with the injector number 1, 2, 3, 4 but Sip and Peugeot it's starting from the gearbox end that means that this is the number 1 cylinder number 2, number 3, number 4 opposite way at the moment computer talks about the cylinder number 3 this is the number 3 take it out the whole thing to read there I'm going to take it out the air filter goes and this bits need to take out these two 10 mm bolts electric connector air hose air filter cover there is a three screw going to remove two bolts 10 mm remove electric connector for air flow sensor remove three screws for air filter air hose air filter to turbo need to disconnect bottom air hose the circlip need to come out air hose like this it will come out now next step we need to remove 
air filter housing no any screws there just lift up then it will come out also need to remove this sponge injector cover air box out now we have access to injectors need to remove injector power supply connectors this is the injector number one supply connector we need to press top of this tab and pull after that you can remove the power supply this is diesel return line need to pull the two green connectors then after that you can lift up that line when you do it do it very gently plastic can be break easily this is the injector number three i'm talking about that is the injector holding bracket next step i'm going to remove fuel line number 13 and 14 and as need it now I'm going to remove injector holding bracket hopefully this injector can take it off easily it's not seesaw yeah it's come easily happy day this all injector and injector holding bracket I'm going to compare new one and old one make sure right one yeah that is the right one then I had to repeat opposite way but I'm take it out I had to put it back everything new injector in this is the bolt for holding bracket Yeah, it's tight now. Next step, I need to put back fuel return line. And connectors, electric connectors for injectors. need to tighten fuel line 13 and 14 mm spanners need for that one next step i'm going to start the car and have a look if this vehicle need to program injectors before program injectors you need to take all faulty codes and reset before programming injectors but as my knowledge this is 2013 model no need to program injectors because this vehicle has a alternated programming system however i want to double check with the computer if it need i will show you how to program if it not i am continue the job we'll see what the computer saying but it's depend on the computer when you go into the programming section if it need 
computer will say need to program this is the way you need to program but this one when i come into this step i can't go above from there that's mean it's no need to program it's self programming system this vehicle has i'm going to reinstall airbox and put back sponge injector covers heat protectors now need to line up air box it's lined up need to put back that two tendon mm bolts air hose for turbo yeah it's in this electric connector for air flow sensor air box cover holding with three screws now you know how to change injectors keep in your mind this injector start from number 1 start from the gearbox side thanks for watching if you not subscribe yet please don't forget it i am charlie from sanu motors if you have any question please mention below see you soon with another video thank you very much